Hello everyone and welcome back to Fuss and Buzz. In this video I am showing you how to make a delicious and easy appetizer using cold smoked salmon and cream cheese. First we need to make some crostini and we will make some out of this baguette. We will be cutting it in thin slices and toast them in the oven. With thin, I mean about one centimeter. I think that translates to about one third of an inch. So let's start cutting. There, done with the cutting. So, you don't need to toast them. If you're in a hurry, you can just use the baguette as is, or use salted crackers for example. So, now is the time to preheat your oven. We will be toasting them in 190 Fahrenheit, that is about 90 degrees Celsius. Pour on olive oil, if you want you could use a baking brush to apply the oil. Now we will be sprinkling over some dry thyme. If you have fresh thyme, by all means use that, but dried will do the job as well. And as the finishing touch I will be adding a chili seasoning blend. You can use just sea salt flakes if chili is not your thing. Now pop them in the oven for about 45 minutes. Cold smoked salmon. Usually when you buy it it's already pre-cut in thin slices. All you have to do is cut it into more suitable pieces. If you can't find it, cured salmon would substitute well. Now it's time to put everything together on a plate. Just use the back of a spoon and scrape the cream cheese onto the plate. Add some fresh lemon zest. Place a piece of salmon in rows. Add fresh dill in between. And finally, a few twists with black pepper. Now just add the crostini to the plate and you're ready to serve. The combination of smoked salmon and cream cheese is just simply irresistible. Plus the appetizer comes together in just a few minutes except for the bread, but you don't have to toast that. So it's perfect for those times when you need to whip up something fast. You can also make this bite size. Just put the same ingredients onto the crostini.
Ah, they look kind of cute. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and don't forget to let me know in the comments how it turns out for you. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.